Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 4th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you a pretty active space weather update, world weather forecast, and as well, earthquake update. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, B and C class solar flares shooting out in the outgoing position, as well, plasma filament eruption here. In the last few images of our sun, northern hemisphere. Looking at the incoming images here, Earth to scale, last 48 hours. Not much in the incoming, except for coronal holes. And our wind stream was slightly elevated from the coronal hole that was Earth facing. But look at our active outgoing. Right hand side is where all those flares were. Two B class and a C class flare shooting out in the outgoing position. So, not Earth directed, as well plasma filament eruption, northern hemisphere there. Also, looking at multi spectrum here, all of the space weather events for the last 48 hours, nothing in an Earth facing direction. We still have the coronal hole wind stream, which is in an earth-facing direction along the equator, turning into an outgoing. So this is a pretty active day for the sun, having a look at the space weather prediction spiral showing the large solar flare right in between BEPI and as well Stereo B satellites. Pretty sizable solar flare. Real-time solar winds right now, we are sitting at about 456 kilometers per second. And it was slightly elevated today. Nothing like last week's coronal hole wind stream. We got up to about 550, I think, was the max. Solar X-ray flux, you can see, we were definitely jagged in and out of the B and C class solar flare range all day. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Lasco 2 and 3 is showing the events coming off the sun. Solar flares not in an earth-facing direction. Boom. As well, there was a sun-diving comet on the left-hand side of the sun. It's really hard to catch. And that was pretty much just before this large CME. We've also got Mercury and Mars in view right now. Those two brightest stars other than the sun. Looking at the X-ray absorption map here, there was quite a hefty pulse over Africa early today. Right now buzzing over South America. Schumann resonance, power of eight today. So interesting, we had all that energy with the Schumann resonance before the CMEs and solar flares were detected and reported with SDO. Having a look at the earthquakes here for the last 24 hours across the world. Sizable earthquake here, Gulf of California is still going off, a 5.1 in Mexico, 10 kilometer depth. As well, Libertad, Mexico, 4.6. And northward here, Pueblo, BC Max, 3.5. Imperial, California, 2.5. White City, New Mexico, see, still seeing minor earthquakes as well. And Aceria, Kansas, reporting a 2.5, pretty rare. And as well, Dillon, Montana, 2.6. That's west of Yellowstone Lake, 2.6 there. Mina, Nevada. Not much else to report. USGS is reporting right now about 260 earthquakes the last 24 hours. Minor activity continuing. Pahala, largest reported today, 3.1. And as well through Alaska, quieted down a little bit, only seeing a 3.8, largest through the region. 4.8 here reported in Russia. And as well, Nazi Japan, a 4.9. Single earthquake there, 4.9 here. 
Sinabang, Indonesia, right by the Sinabung Volcano. And as well, a 4.9 here, Carlsberg Ridge, 10 kilometer depth. So yeah, a ring of 4.9s from Japan over to Carlsberg Ridge as well. Banda Sea, seeing many earthquakes today, 4.8 and 4.4, 5.2 here, Papua New Guinea. And no real deep earthquakes today, but we've seen them all week. And we still haven't seen a large, shallow earthquake, which I think we could be seeing a 7 within the next 24 to 36 hours. 5.7 here, South Sandwich Islands region. Other than that, 4.2 in Greece. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the world. La Palma, minor earthquakes continuing. They are not being reported here. They are reported with Volcano Discovery. And this is the last seven days for earthquakes. And you can see many elevated rings off of the, the planet this week. We are going through a deep earthquake event right now. The pressure is on. Heads up, stay aware and prepared, and just have a plan. And maybe have a go bag ready. Also going to be reporting here, the most recent volcanoes getting updated from the Pacific Disaster Center, as well as satellite imagery across the world, Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Semeru, of course, Indonesia, large eruption there, 40,000 foot cloud, La Palma in Spain, Sabancaya in Peru, Nevados de Chilean, Senge, Raventador, Popo, Nevados de Chilean, as well as Semis Napochnoi, Fuego, Guatemala, and still going through here, uh, Karamiski, Russia. Era in Japan. Merapi, Indonesia. And look at this one, Pinatubo in the Philippines five days ago, showing signs of activity. So heads up and stay ready and stay tuned for the volcanic activity report, which will be coming tomorrow, giving you a full update on all of the active and erupting volcanoes around the world. Having a quick look, satellite imagery, still long lines of atmospheric rivers across at the Atlantic and as well the Pacific. Hawaii is going to be reporting strong winds or are reporting strong winds and as well high surf advisories and warnings going out today. Big Pacific system heading into you. Wait for the five-day forecast coming up. And then in the West Pacific, we still have Tropical Storm Nayato, which was pretty much blown to pieces and dragged northward through the atmospheric river of the West Pacific, heading towards Alaska, where they're already dealing with a winter storm. Five-day forecast here, brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well daily events worldwide. Starting out here, home base, Ontario, Canada, where, yeah, we've got a cool week ahead of us here. Could get as cold as minus eight but not in the double digits just yet. Could be in the long range. Looking here, we do have high pressure ridge until Monday. And then we have rain and snow on the backside of this Alberta clipper as it comes into Ontario. High pressure ridge along the convergence line. We'll see flurries and very strong winds across Lake Huron, Georgian Bay and Lake Superior this week. And right up the coast, we've also got that system that came pretty much from the Pacific Ocean down through Twin Falls and into Idaho, Texas. And look at this. Right into the Gulf of Mexico and then right up the east coast of the United States into the Atlantic provinces for the long range. So Newfoundland, you've got a winter storm on your doorstep coming in hot for Friday, Saturday. As well, we've got pretty cold conditions that will be funneling down. Strong high pressure ridge over Alaska is allowing that. And watch that move through Calgary this week. Bringing in and ushering in quite a big winter storm. It could be an Alberta clipper and as well another one moving through northern Alberta. So two clippers possibly forming in the long range. And look at these cold temps. They're dropping right down to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Minus 38 in 
parts of Nunavut and through the United States. It's going to be a roller coaster of temperatures as the systems come through. Overlooking South America, daily, ev daily evaporation rains, but then watch for heavy rains here through Brazil this week as well. The border with Argentina, pretty intense low pressure system there off the coastline. It's going to be heading southward. Overlooking Europe, still one, two, three low pressure systems heading in this week. Drenching most of the UK, Ireland, and Central Europe, Spain, and as well, low pressure system heading through the Mediterranean this week. So watch for widespread rain and snow mix bag right across Europe. Eastern Europe is pretty much locked into a cold trend already. And then watch this system head from Greenland straight across the North Pole here over to Russia. And that's going to be an intense storm in the long range as well. Extreme cold temperatures are continuing to hang out in parts of eastern Russia. Minus 43 in some areas. That will be swinging around here, folks. Winter is still a few weeks away. Actually, only a couple weeks away. And look at this system that's going to be racing towards Alaska. That's Nayato, Typhoon Nayato. This system is going to be coming out of the Philippines. And mixing with Nayato. So watch for Alaska in the long range. Pretty intense winter storm conditions. Five-day forecast here over the Hawaiian Islands. Starting from Pahala. Eastward. Pretty much Sunday, Monday, Tuesday rain. And then it will move away by Wednesday, Thursday. But watch for high surf, strong winds, and possible flash floods across the Hawaiian Islands. Daily evaporation rains across Indonesia, Papua New Guinea. Could see a cyclone developing in the long range here through New Caledonia. As well as looking over Australia here the next five days. Daily evaporation rains Coastal regions, mostly all across the continent. Low pressure system hanging out southeastern Australia. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the north. Pointing out the major systems that are spinning across our planet right now. Very strong, vigorous lows. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.